Once you get your company set up in QuickBooks, one of the next moves you should make is to start setting up your lists. And in this, we're going to look at three kinds of lists here. Customer lists, vendor lists, and item lists. We're going to cover customer and vendor lists in more detail later on, and item lists as well. But we just want to do some initial setup here. So to get started, I'm going to click the list drop down arrow. And I'm going to click customer and vendor profile lists. And I'm going to click customer type list. Now you might be wondering, why not just click on the customer list? Well, later on, we want to add some customers and we want to assign customers the correct types. So we want to see what the default types are for this particular business. So to get started with this, I'm going to click customer type list. And notice that we have four types to start with from advertisement, referral, retail, and wholesale. Now this may or may not fit your business profile pretty well. In our case, we have a lot of residential customers. We have a lot of business customers and we want to be able to track customer sales that way. So before we add any more customers, we're going to add two customer types. To get started, I'm going to click the drop down arrow on customer type and click new. And for this, I'm just going to go with residential. Now, if you want to make this a subtype of another type of customer, you can. Here, we really don't have that many customer types, so I'm not going to do that here. Now, we can click OK and then bring up another new customer type. But here's a little QuickBooks shortcut. If we click next on these types of windows, it actually, in fact, let me move this. It actually adds what we just typed, but then also gives us the opportunity to add another customer type. So I'm going to type business here. Then I'm going to click OK. So that next button really helps us as far as allowing us to add multiple items at once. So now we have our two additional customer types and we will use those later on when we create customers. And we want to do something similar with vendors. We want to make sure that we customize these different types and we want to see what we have available. So I'm going to close this customer type list and I'm going to go back up to lists and go over customer and vendor profile lists and we're going to click vendor type list. Now here we see consultants, service providers, suppliers, supplies, and tax agencies. Good start. But there's a very specific type of consultant that we want to add here and that's an instructor. So to get started on this, I'll click the drop down arrow on vendor type and click new. And for a vendor type, I'll go with instructor since we do some training at this business as well. I'm going to make this a subtype of contractor or consultant, I should say, because all of the instructors are with us on a contract basis. So we'll click OK here. And now that we see this setup, we've got the instructor under consultant. So another different way you can add types. What you want to figure out beforehand is how you want to structure your customer types and vendor types so that when you go to enter these, you're not really thinking about it. You're just entering those different types. Thank you.